it's getting yeah. a lot of buzz and rightfully so. It's a fantastic film. Now, what was your first initial reaction when you read the script by writer-director Sean Darkin? Um, when I first read the script, I thought, what is this movie and how are they going to do this? Some of the stuff, you know, that you see in the movie, that's, some of the movie is, is there's stretches where there's silence, you know, and, but he wrote everything out. It was very descriptive. And I just thought, if this script fil films and photographs the way it's written, this is going to be a really good movie. And I was very happy to see that it is. Yeah, the magic of the script and the magic of the film as well is that um, it could have easily been, you know, a, a primetime movie of the week or whatever but it's right. st instead it it digs deeper into the psyche of 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 the character the victim yes. itself yes i think the movie is a very sort of tense psychological thriller but it's also a, a sort of family drama between these two sisters uh, the character Elizabeth Olsen plays with it, which is Martha and my character Lucy they haven't seen each other in a long time and they've been very estranged and the movie takes place about two weeks the first two weeks that she's out of this cult and she doesn't tell me where she's been or why, and it's us trying to navigate the fractured nature of our relationship and trying to fix some of it, but she's clearly in a state that is making it very difficult for her to come back to reality. Yeah, your backstory, your family backstory, um, it was kind of left uh, to the, for the audience to figure out, yet yeah. it, it still feels full. I mean, did you and Elizabeth Olsen kind of flesh out the, leave, fill in the blanks when you were fleshing out the characters? Yes, we know Elizabeth Olsen and Sean Durkin and I sat down before we started shooting and we basically mapped out what happened between our, our, our two characters with each as it pertained to each other. So that so that because so much of it, like you said, it's it's left up for the audience, which is what Sean wanted. Because sometimes in family dramas and things you, you just people say too much ways that like real families don't really communicate. Nobody really says everything. There's so much that's unsaid. That was one of the things I really liked about it because it felt very realistic to me. Um, but we all knew from an acting standpoint what had happened between us and why we weren't speaking and, and so that we, so we would know. And I think that's why hopefully in the movie it feels very full even though you don't have the specific details about what happened. Right. Now Elizabeth Olsen is also getting a lot of buzz for the film. I mean she yeah. surprised the heck out of everyone. How was it working I, with her? Yeah. Uh, it was amazing. She's, I want to be Elizabeth Olsen when I grow up. She is the most self-possessed, um, feet on the ground, light-hearted, you know, wonderful girl. She, she, her parents, she has a, a wonderful family because she's the most well-rounded, grounded individual and an incredible actress. And, and I, it's very exciting to watch. I'm very happy for her. I adore her. Oh, also getting a great buzz is also uh, John Hawks. John Hawks, I never did it. You know, this is the third job I've done, the third project I've worked on with John Hawks where I've had no scenes with him. We were on Deadwood together um, and now this movie and we did another uh, TV show together like 15 years ago and we've never had any scenes together so I wasn't on set with him at all. This movie was, because it takes place in two locations and, and they did the, the stuff at the farm, the cult stuff first and then the stuff at the lake house we did the, the la latter half of the movie. So, Sean, um, so John and I never Never, never crossed paths on this movie. Oh. We're friends, but we never, we never got to be around each other while we were working, which we've been lamenting and saying how we've got to find something where we can actually share a scene. Now, my last question, Miss Sarah, um, what do you want the audience to take away from watching the film? Oh, to take away? I think just sort of, um, well, that's a hard question to answer because in terms of the movie or what do I, I hope that I hope that people take away this, the brilliance of Sean Durkin, the director, and, and what he's done here with this movie that, that cost, you know, half a million dollars to make and looks like a much more expensive movie and is, I think, just a real case study of what a talented director can do with, with a movie. It's a very powerful movie that I, I think really does leave you at, asking a lot of questions. It doesn't tie anything up neatly for you. It will, I think the movie will stay with you. Oh, I can't agree more. Congratulations again, Miss Sarah. Thank you. And hopefully, Thank you so much. And hopefully I'll see you soon in Palm Springs, okay? Yes, I would love that. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you.